Welcome to my new tutorial of Inside the Machine Animation. Let's get started. Click on New Composition. Rename it to Element. For this composition, I'm using 1280 by 720 pixels. Frame per second is 30 and duration of this composition is 40 seconds. Click OK. Add a new black solid layer to the timeline. Rename it to BG. Change its color to black. Now add a new black solid layer to the timeline. Rename it to Element. Go to Effects and Presets. And add a Video Copilot, Element 3D effect to this layer. Click on Scene Setup. Click Environment. Change Environment to Underpass. Click OK. Go to Model Browser. Type Liquid. Add liquid number 6 to the scene. Go to material presets. And add orange soda material to liquid model. Change its group number to 5. Now add Broken Glass 1 to the scene from Model Browser. And change its material to Ice Wall from Material Presets. Also change its group number to 4. Now add Machine Part 1 to the scene from Model Browser. Change its group number to 3. Also change its first material to Metal Grunge Painted 5. Change second material to Brushed Metal Dirty. Lastly change third material to Metal Bumpy. Now add Gear 2 model from the Model Browser. Change its group number to 2. Now change its both materials to Metal Bumpy. Now add Gear 8 model from the Model Browser. Now change its both materials to Metal Grunge Painted 7. Change its group number to 2. Add Abstract String 8 to the scene, from Model Browser. Change its material to Chrome from Material Presets.
Lastly add abstract string 9 to the scene, from model browser. Change its material to chrome from material presets. Click OK to close scene setup. Go to group 1. Go to particle replicator. Change replicator shape to 3D grid. Change grid X, Y and Z to 8 each. Move the timeline to 899 frames. Click stopwatch next to shape scale to add a keyframe. Now move the timeline to 40 seconds. And change shape scale to 120. Select first keyframe and right click on the keyframe. Go to keyframe assistant and easy ease it. Go to scale X, Y and Z. Change X scale to 32.10. Change Y scale to 14.80 and change Z scale to 34. Go to replicator effects. And go to position noise. Change noise scale to 2. Go to particle look. And change particle size to 54.65. Go to particle rotation. Change Y rotation to 0 and minus 96. Also change rotation random to 0 and 10. Go to group 2. Go to particle replicator. Change replicator shape to sphere. Change particle count to 500. Move the timeline to 899 frames. Click stopwatch next to shape scale to add a keyframe. Change its value to 20. Now move the timeline to 40 seconds and change shape scale to 200. Select first keyframe and right click on the keyframe. Go to keyframe assistant and easy ease it. Go to replicator effect and to scatter. Change scatter to 200. Go to particle look. And change particle size to 9 and change particle size random to 60%.
go to particle rotation. Press out button and click stopwatch next to Y rotation to add a script. Right. Time multiply by 4. Go to group 3. Go to particle replicator. Change replicator shape to 3D grid. Change grid X to 4, Y to 6 and Z to 4. Go to scale X, Y and Z. Change X scale to 30. Change Y scale to 20 and change Z scale to 30. Go to particle look and change particle size to 20. Go to group 4. Go to particle replicator. Change replicator shape to sphere. Change particle count to 100. Move the timeline to 899 frames. Click stopwatch next to shape scale to add a keyframe. Change its value to 60. Now move the timeline to 40 seconds. And change shape scale to 220. Select first keyframe and right click on the keyframe. Go to Keyframe Assistant and Easy Ease It. Go to Particle Look. And change Particle Size to 5. Go to Multi Object. Enable Multi Object. Change scatter multi to 300. Go to group 5. Go to particle replicator. Change replicator shape to sphere. Change particle count to 100. Move the timeline to 0 frames. Click stopwatch next to shape scale to add a keyframe. Change its value to 100. Now move the timeline to 899 frames and change its value to 7. Again move the timeline to 40 seconds. And change shape scale to 300. Select the second keyframe and right click on the keyframe. Go to Keyframe Assistant and Easy Ease It.
Go to particle look. And go to particle rotation. Move the timeline to zero frames. Click stopwatch to X rotation. Now move the timeline to 40 seconds. And change X rotation value to 1 and 0. Now go to render settings. And go to ambient occlusion. Go to SSAO. Change intensity to 1. Change radius to 0.5. Also change gamma to 3. Go to advanced options. Change cutoff to 2. Go to fog. Enable fog. Change fog opacity to 75%. Change fog start distance to 500. And change fog range to 4000. Now go to output. Change multi sampling to 16. Now add a camera layer to the timeline. Rename it to camera. Change its zoom to 84.67 mm. Check depth of field. And uncheck lock to zoom. Go to camera layer and go to transform. Move the timeline to 0 seconds and click stopwatch next to position. Change its value to 640, 360 and minus 5000. Now move the timeline to 899 frames. And change its value to 640, 30 and minus 500. Now move the timeline to 40 seconds. And change position to 640, 360 and minus 6000. Again move the timeline to 0 seconds and click stopwatch next to Z rotation. Change its value to 0 and minus 30. Now move the timeline to 899 frames, and change Z rotation value to 0 and 30. Move the timeline to 40 seconds. Change its value to 0 and minus 45. Select second keyframe of position and Z rotation, and right click on the keyframe. Go to keyframe assistant and easy ease it. Go to camera options. Change focus distance to 450 pixels. And also change aperture to 300 pixels. Now add a point light to the timeline. Rename it to light. Change light type to point. Change intensity to 200. And fall off should be none. Go to light option.
press alt button and click stopwatch next to intensity. Right. Wiggle 5 and 80. And change radius to 500. Also change shadow diffusion to 0 pixels. Now add a new composition. Rename it to final. Go to project window. And drag element comp to the timeline. Duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D. Change its mode from normal to add. Go to effects and presets. Add levels effect to this layer. Change input black to 9380. Now add fast box blur effect to this layer. Change blur radius to 50. Change iterations to 1. Lastly add color balance effect to this layer. Change highlight red balance to 87. Change green balance to 56. And change blue balance to minus 100. Now add a solid layer. Change its color to 47, 58 and 95. Rename it to light. Now go to toolbar. And select eclipse tool. Add a small eclipse to the top of this solid layer. Go to mask property. Change mask feather to 400. Adjust the mask accordingly. Change its mode from normal to add. Now add an adjustment layer to the timeline. Rename it to CC. Go to effects and presets. And add color balance effect to this layer. Change shadow red balance to minus 38 green balance to 23 and change blue balance to 82 change midtone red balance to 35 green balance to 9 and change midtone blue balance to 37 change highlight red balance to 44 green balance to 20 and blue balance to minus 29 now add and curves effect to this layer Change its RGB channel, as per your need. That is folks for today. I hope you like my video of Inside the Machine Animation Tutorial. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it. Thank you and have a nice day.